I'd like to start this evening by talking to you about the pastoral support and guidance that we offer in our sixth form. And we do this in various ways. All of our students will be allocated a tutor and they'll be expected to attend registration, during which time a detailed tutor programme will be delivered, covering a huge breadth of content, including life skills, careers, study skills, and also this will be supplemented by regular assemblies and RSE curriculum time. We also have a large sixth form team of teaching and non-teaching members of staff. So there's always somebody available should students need them and also if there's any parental queries. We have a dedicated school-wide SEND, SEND team who supports our students and that extends into the sixth form also. We also have financial bursaries available to our students to help them through their education during the sixth form. And in addition, as Dr. Meller has already mentioned, we're able to provide a huge amount of support to students with their UCAS um, university applications and jobs and apprenticeship applications when that time comes. What do we expect from our students in sixth form? Well, we expect all of our students to maintain our high standards, and that's being punctual, prepared, ready to learn, following the sixth form dress code and participation in all parts of sixth form life, including registration, RSE activities and more. Students must have a minimum of 95% attendance and also within the curriculum time students will have silent study sessions alongside their qualifications. It's also important to add at this point that as our young um, adults are starting to think about joy, um, getting a job that that must not be done during school time next year in sixth form and that if you do have a job paid work outside of school that that shouldn't exceed more than 10 hours a week. A levels and level three qualifications are um, challenging and you do need to make sure that you have enough time to dedicate to those studies. In addition, we do expect all our students to partake in at least an hour of enrichment per week, to contribute to the wider school events and to be part of our school community. And therefore, we expect all of our students to be positive role models for all of our younger students from Key Stage 3 upwards. Outside of the curriculum, there's also a vast array of extracurricular activities that are available with clubs and societies that students can take part in across the school, including music, arts, theatre, orchestra, sports clubs and beyond. Annually, we run a three-day Skills for Success conference, which is led by local businesses. And we're also really proud of the local employer links and sponsorships that we have available through Sixth Form. We also offer trips and expeditions, and in the past, even these have included Borneo, the US, Iceland and of course our annual ski trips. Students are also encouraged to take the lead in some of these extracurricular events and they've in the past successfully led quiz nights, planned the Leavers Ball and organised and performed in the Year 13 Christmas Panto. Each year our students also support our local community at the Statutes Fair as you can see in the picture down there. We also do other charity work through our enrichment programme and the leadership opportunities that are available to all of our students in sixth form. The opportunities to develop leadership skills include being part of the senior team of heads and deputies, but also there are roles in that as part of senior prefects and taking leads on some of the committees within that, which this year have been charity, enrichment, student life and sports. Students could also become form um, tutor captains, supporting their tutors in the registration periods. And we're also in the process of revitalising the sixth form house system post COVID, which will also bring additional um, leadership potential. All of these opportunities are of course um, additional skills and experiences that students can demonstrate in their personal statements and job and apprenticeship applications um, in the future in year 13. However they're also really great skills and opportunities to help our young students become successful well-rounded individuals. So why should you consider coming to Ashby School? Well, we constantly strive to ensure that all of our students receive the best post-16 education provision. And regardless of whether our students go on to higher education, further training, jobs, in, um, apprenticeships, we want all of our students to shine academically and to reach and achieve their full potential while they're with us. Hopefully you've seen this evening already that we have excellent facilities with our own dedicated Key Stage 5 site over on Leicester Road. We have outdoor facilities and outdoor space two canteens for us over on Leicester Road, study rooms, our own library, and as well as the sports, arts and design facilities that we offer as a school. We offer a safe, supportive and happy environment for our students, and all of our students are monitored both academically 
and pastorally throughout their time in sixth form. Our large student body also means that we can consistently offer a broad curriculum and focus on those enrichment opportunities. And we're proud to say that Ashby School is more than just about those academic qualifications, that it's making sure that each individual leaves us at the end of their time in sixth form as well-rounded individuals, having taken advantage of all the opportunities available to them, both inside and outside of the curriculum. So now for the practical parts for your application. Um, admission into sixth form is subject to you having five GCSE grades of nine to four, including your maths and your English. On top of that, there may be additional entry requirements according to which subjects you wish to study. And details of those can be found in that options booklet that you've been given this evening when you arrived. Remember as well, please, that there are a, there's a long list of subjects that students can take at A-level having never studied them before at GCSE. So if you're unsure, please just ask and look at all of those opportunities available. Any offer to join us in sixth form will be subject to an interview in February or March time next year. And within that interview time, we will discuss attendance and behaviour. We would expect all of our students to have an attendance of 95% or higher in year 11, although we do appreciate and will take into account that COVID isolation may have affected that. Students must also demonstrate the correct work ethic and the appropriate behaviour throughout their time in Key Stage 4. So what happens next? Hopefully already you've spoken to the teachers and the students that are available this evening. Please go away and reflect and look at all of the options that are available to you and read that booklet that you've been given which talks about the subjects but also sixth form as a whole and what we offer. When you've made your decision, you will make your application through the Ashby School website through the sixth form section. If you're an Ashby School student, you will also be given some time in your PSD lessons in the weeks ahead to start that application, although a lot of it will also have to be done in your own time at home. Closing dates for all applications is Friday the 14th of January next year.